welcome. Uh, big thank you to everyone who has been involved in the DT videos this term. Thank you for taking part. Thank you for sending in your photos and thank you for messaging and just generally getting involved. So well done if you've been taking part in DT and the creative curriculum. And thank you so much for sending in your pictures. I've really enjoyed seeing them. So as you know, we'll be back to school very soon. So this will be the last video. So it's a little bit sad, but I'm looking forward to seeing you back in the DT room and the cookery school and getting involved with some more projects at school. So for this last week, we have a little bit more on uh, architecture. So I'm going to show you Zaha Hadi. Uh, so there'll be some more information about that uh, coming up in a moment, but a very famous uh, architect, Zaha Hadi. And also I will show you some uh, more tools and some more techniques and tips um, that you can use in SketchUp. So stay tuned and enjoy the very last video. Bye for now. So here we have an amazing building. Uh, it is drawn in Google SketchUp. Look at this. Uh, this is called Sangrada Familia and you will find it in where? Which city do you think? I can tell you the city is Barcelona. I've been there a few times. It's an absolutely amazing structure. Look at this. Now, I have to confess, I did not draw this myself, um, but in this video, I will show you how you can download parts of a building to create something very complicated. So for example, these trees, you might think, oh, I'd like some trees around my house. So that is one way to do it. So I will show you how to do it. So if I just start a new sketch, don't save, there we go. There we go. Right, so I have my person here. Well, the trick is this. You click on the boxes here on the right hand side and it says components. So I've typed in the word tree and when I press enter, I can search for a tree. So I think, oh, that one looks good. And now it's attached to my mouse. I've clicked on it and there it is. So there is a tree. Click. If I want to add another tree, I can go to my little house here and it's saved because I've used it already. And I can do that as many times as I like, really. Um, there we go. There's three lovely trees. If I want to make something bigger or smaller, for example, if I want a car and it's uh, too big or too small. Let's see. Hmm. I'll go for this Audi. Might take a little while to download if the file is quite large. There it is. Now, I might decide that actually I want the trees bigger or the car to be smaller. So how do I do that? Well, you see the uh, tool on the left hand side. It looks like uh, arrows going in four directions. Well, that's what you use to move things. So anything you've downloaded, you can move using these arrows. Anything you've downloaded, you can resize using this it says scale. To get this, you have to click on the little tiny arrow and click scale. And then what you do is you can drag in the corner. So I can make it a remote control car. There we go. Tiny, tiny little car. Uh, there it is, or I could make it into a full-size car just by using scale. Now, unfortunately, things that you download, you can't, can't really edit. So that's a bit small, isn't it? I think it needs to be a bit bigger. There we go. That's probably about right size. I think my person could get in there. Um, so once you download something, it's sort of fixed. You can't um, edit that or, or change change it in any way. The only thing you can do is move it rescale it or finally twist it. So if I click here, I can click a few times and pivot it in a direction. So if I want this car going this way, and that's all managed by these three boxes. So perhaps pause the video and try the following. Click on the three boxes on the right hand side here, type something in. So I've done a car and a tree. Maybe I want a, a bench for the garden. Lovely. Oh, I like this one. That's quite modern. Look at that. So I'll pop that there. And to get rid of this on the right hand side, there's a, a little arrow, sorry, a little cross. You can click on that. To rescale it, have a go at using these tools here. So click and drag and you can make, make it as big or as small as you fancy. It's up to you. 
So pause the video and have a go at downloading an object and then fiddling with it in terms of its scale or its size. Um, if you are planning on designing a house, uh, then perhaps draw some of your house first so that you have an idea of how big everything else needs to be. Um, but if you just want to have a play and download some models, then go for it. There should be all sorts of things in here. The sky's the limit. Right, enjoy folks. Okay folks, so this is the Zaha Hadi Architects website. So it's zaha-hadi.com. And uh, this is an amazing building. It's called the Capitol Hill Residence. It's located in uh, Russia, in Moscow, and it's for a private client. So this originally was, uh, I believe, built for a billionaire. So this chap has more than a billion in the bank. Uh, he has a lot of money. And this amazing house was designed by Zaha Hadi. So it's located on a north face, uh, facing hillside. Um, it floats 22 meters above the tree line. So this chap said he wants to wake up in the morning and just see blue sky and feel like he's, he's on top of the world. So let's have a look at these pictures. Right, just look at that. Isn't that <laughs> something else? So if you're an architect, you can work on these amazing structures. And if you are lucky enough to have a, a billionaire backer uh, like this chap here, then you can really create some amazing uh, pieces of work here. So let's have a little look. There you are. There's a little video on the end of this as well. So feel free to go on this website, Zaha Hadi. I'll put the link in the description at the bottom of this video and check it out. It's uh, it's on Vim video here. So I'll just play it for you now um, or go to the link and watch the video straight from the website. I work with many great architects and always dream to work with Zaha Hadid because for me she is an architect of different league. I met Zaha Hadid a decade ago. We find mutual interest and then I decided to build with her my private house outside Moscow. And she told me, describe me the site and I told her I want to wake up in the morning and I want to just see blue sky. I don't want to see any neighbors and I want to feel free. And she just take a napkin and draw and I, I look and I say, I like it. And this is how we start Capitol Hill project. Here is a very modern looking house. And if I just zoom in or zoom out, you should be able to see that it's a black and white drawing. But when I move my mouse, it looks like it's sort of been hand drawn. So how have I done this? Well, I will show you now. So this is something that I've downloaded um, just to save time. Um, and I've looked for a modern house and I've downloaded the uh, house here that you can see. But if you click on this on the right hand side, which says styles, if I go back to the original sort of style, you can change the look of the house. So if I click on this, this is what it originally looked like. And if we have a little look, you can see inside Mr. Stanitz approves. There's a uh, little workbench there, quite a nice car as well by the looks of it. Maybe a swimming pool in the back. Have to explore a bit further. Yes, I think it is. Uh, what do we have over here? So looking in here in the lounge. Oh, lovely, nice big kitchen. Yes, very nice. So you can have some fun by trying to put things inside your home as well. Um, and the easiest way to do that is just to make a big window like this that's glass and then scroll in until you get inside. And then you can draw, whoops, you can draw um, tables and benches and things like that. Gets a little bit tricky if you've got a small place to draw. <laughs> See, it's all gone wrong. I'm trying to scroll in, but there we go. So what I was going to show you before that happened um, was the styles tab. 
So let's have a look at this. So over on the side here, if you click on the uh, rectangle and circle, it says styles. And you have a whole range of different colours. So if I click on that, it will automatically update it. If I change the view here a bit. Let's click on another one and see what it does. Yeah, there we go. There's some sketchy edges, which I quite like. So if I click on that, there you go. It looks like somebody's drawn that. So you could always use this for some art homework. You could always draw something on here in 3D and then use the sketchy edges. There we go. And it looks like a, a sort of a pencil drawing. How amazing is that? I think it's really good. Really useful tool, this. And there's all sorts of uh, different filters that you can apply to make it look like uh, different things. So there you go. Some paper there. Looks like it's drawn on brown paper. Shading. All sorts of things. Just goes on and on. There's photo modelling as well, so you can do all sorts of great things there. What's really useful about this, sometimes some of these um, versions that you can see, there we go, I'm just clicking through, are see-through. So there we go, that's called a wireframe model. Um, so you can see right through the house and see all the different parts. You can see how complicated the car is, for example. So that is a really useful tool if you want to look at your house as though it's see-through. So how do you do it? It's on the right hand side and it's styles. It's the rectangle and circle. So have a little go at that. See if you can change the style of your house and uh, you've learned a new skill. Well done. OK, so in this part, I will just show you a few top tips to save your work and export it and things like that. So once you've drawn your lovely house, you can save it, so you can click Save As, and you can save it on your OneDrive so you won't lose it. So that's one thing you can do. Another thing you can do, by clicking those lines in the top left, you can export it. So you can download it as, a, as an image or as a 3D printing file. So STL is for 3D printing. Um, but you can download it as a um, Google SketchUp file if you click Download. So it says Download as SKP, and you can save that to your computer and then if you want to open anything you've drawn you just click on open and again you can go on the OneDrive or you can find that file on your computer so if you're worried about losing things um, save it and call it something in your OneDrive that's the safest thing to do so that's how you save and that's how you download if you want to print you can click print um, if you want to take a screenshot on my keyboard, I have something that says print screen, so I can press that and it takes a photograph of what's on my screen. And then if I go into paint and something like that, I can then paste it in there. Or if I go onto Teams, I can just paste it straight into Teams. So if you want to send a screenshot, just press print screen on your keyboard and you can paste it into Teams and share it with us at school. Right, there we go. Those are my top tips.